Well, well, well. Good morning, everybody. Seven here. Uh, today's video is going to be just a little different. And yes, you can see right there, I've got, I've got me an FG42. And boy, howdy, do I see on the Discord and the forums a lot of people complaining about how it is to be a new player. And I get it. I agree with them. Uh, because I have a level 1 squad here, and yes, this is my Engineer 2 squad, but it is level 1, correct? It doesn't have a lot going for it. This right here is our third choice, right? I, if I remember correctly, as infantry at least, if you have three squads, yeah. Say I take this one out, they die, do my work. Take this one out, they die, do my work. Take this one out. By the time I take this one out and that one dies, I should be able to pull my engines back out, correct? So we're gonna ignore, we're gonna ignore this monster, and we're gonna ignore this monster unless I need need to go up in my fighter to take care of like an A20 or something like that or a P38. I will take this up to do that, and then I will get out of my fighter to get back on the ground. That's how that's gonna work. We're not gonna tank. Uh, we may, 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 may play with these two squads, but today we're gonna focus on these three. Why? Because this is the level one experience. And I still have sh unlocked that new players don't. This anti-tank mine, these anti-tank mines I have on my squad, I'm going to keep them there because they're useful. And I want to, because nobody uses them, I want to demonstrate how they're useful. If you place them efficiently enough and in places where you know tanks will drive, they will run them over and you get free kills. And even if it doesn't work out, Say an enemy throws a grenade too close to one of these puppies, it will detonate this and can cause collateral damage. They are amazing tools. You unlock them pretty early in the campaign. I think it's like level 7 or 9 or something. I don't remember. <clears throat> Let's take a look. Will you tell us? No, because we're already past that point. But the reason why I have... Don't pay attention to that FG-42. <laughs> we're going to try and not pull those out. In fact, let's just take those off, huh? Let's just take all those semi-automatics because we're trying to demonstrate something today. We're going to demonstrate precisely why uh, bolt actions are a good investment, right? There's a reason why I have for these uh, man lookers, these uh, Steyr M1895s. They're a great gun, especially upgraded. You'll have the hip power. To, uh, to take someone out just under 200 meters. With, with iron sights, if you're over 200 meters, uh, you should be taking the time to aim at their heads, right? Right. But this particular bolt action has a hell of a fire rate on it, and once you get the 12% bolt action fire rate <laughs> increase as a perk, I haven't tr tested it yet even, but I can only imagine just how deadly this thing will be once it gets that. But we're just going to take our bolt actions our explosive packs in a four-man squad, just four little men's. And we're going to level up our engineer by placing fobs, by building on point, and we're going to rely on our squad mates by positioning them correctly so that they will... Because even an AI, this man looker rifle, holy sh... Is it powerful in the right hands? It is mighty powerful, even in the AI's hands. And we're going to demonstrate that today. And then once our engineers are taken out, because nobody <laughs> keeps an infantry squad alive all game, you have to plan for this. See, this is why this is number one in my slot. My engineers, I always pull out first. Why? To build fobs, to build ammo, to build sandbags, right? To help your team. And then after that, you pull out what you're good at. I, My personal skill set mostly includes bolt-action rifles, correct? So these Car 98Ks... Everybody gets these. I have the Car 98K on my Engineer. I have the Car 98K on my Assaulter. I have the Car 98K on my Bomber. I have it on every one of these gentlemen. And every one of these gentlemen is set up, basically, aside from the anti-tank mine, just ignore that little kitten. <laughs> but everybody else, all they have is starter equipment. That's it. Basic grenades, basic explosive packs, nine-man squad. You can get to a nine-man squad in this infantry, uh, son of a bitch, sorry, my brain. <laughs> but you can get to a, a nine man squad pretty quick. And if you have these starter rifles, even unupgraded, they can be pretty, pretty sweet. So just bear with me. We're going to take our little four man squad out. We're going to take our little trooper squad out. And if all that fails, then we pull out the big guns, right? If all that fails, 
Then we pull out the squad that we worked for. And we're just going to wreck people with it. And that's okay, too. Because this is the only two low-level squads that I have. <laughs> All right. I'll meet you guys on the other side once the gameplay starts. And we're going to discuss this more in detail once the game's over, if you stick around that long. All right? Cool. I'll meet you out there. All righty. So, oh my goodness, I rebound my keys again. <laughs> Isn't that silly? So here we are. Taking a little gander at our map. Oh look, artillery already on the point. Why? Why is that even a fuck thing? We're gonna take our engineer here, our one low level, level one engineer, and we're gonna figure out how to get some experience with this out here, huh? Let's build our team a forward operating base. Let's figure out a good place to put that. Where would oh my goodness, it's almost like <laughs> it's almost like they they have it spelled out for you, right? Isn't that a nice little bit of cover there? Isn't that a nice little bit of cover? We're gonna mark ourselves just so our team knows our intentions, right? We'll let them know a fob's up and we're gonna get the hell out of here. Why? Because we have work to do. We have work to do. Got a little sandbag. A little sandbag right here, a little sandbag right here, and this will give anybody who spawns at our fob just an opportunity, just an opportunity to defend themselves. Put a little, little ammunition box here. Yeah, yeah, look at that. We're on defense. You can put ammunition boxes next to your fobs on defense. That is a good thing to do because they're not going anywhere, except for hopefully on the damn point. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look, it's already getting capped. Let's see what we can do about that, huh? Let's see what we can do about that. Let's see what we can do about that. Hi there. Yeah, let's see what we can do about that. Let's see what we can do with our basic Car 98K rifles yeah, to help hold this point. Let's see what we can do about that. We need to be brief about it. We need to be quick. See, our teammates are spawning on our fob, so we're going to spawn back here. We're going to open up our menu, go to formation, go close. We want to be close because we're going to be assaulting a position. Okay? We know that the enemy is on it, so we're going to mark it. And it looks, they're going to cap it anyway. They're going to cap it anyway because our team wasn't able to get in position quickly enough. That's fine. We're going to leave our fob up so that our team will continue to spawn on it until it is destroyed, right? Now we, there's a reason we took another engineer. There's a reason, yeah, that we have another engineer though. Because we're gonna take this little kitten and we're gonna fall back. We're gonna fall back to this point. See that? Look at this, look at this. We're gonna be careful not to lose our one engineer. Oh, that's not a good place for a sandbag. That's not a real good place, is it? We're just gonna help our team out by building fortifications for them to fight at, or next to, or behind, or whatever. This doesn't take skill. This doesn't take uh, a lot of effort, but it helps your team. It helps your team. Let's uh, let's get an ammo box up. Yeah, see, I think now that we know our ammo box it was 3-3, yeah, look, we have another fob. We have another fob. We're gonna take our engineer, and we're just gonna throw up a few more sandbags, this seems kind of haphazard, but this is how the developers designed it, right? You have to build sandbags on point to get experience from them. I didn't design it. I sure as hell didn't come up with this idea. <laughs> but that's what we have to work with. We're going to put up another ammo box. Again, just so that our mortar men at least can get more mortars, yeah? And we're going to fall back to this little point. Oh my goodness, look. Look at that. Can we see a fob? Do we see a fob? No. No, we do not see a fob. I don't hear one either. Oh, you can see you can see it's a it's on the map. Let's just go put this somewhere else, huh? Let's just go put this. Oh, trenches. Yeah. You say, well, we already have a fob up. Why do we need another one? Well, it's pretty damn simple, actually. 
Wow, they, they really do need to work on that. Holy shit. Can I find one place to put this god them fob? <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Let's take a look at our map. Oh, they capped it again. Why? Lack of teamwork. And see, I'm not going to get shh for experience this match. Why? <laughs> I don't know. But there's a reason nobody plays the Engineer, right? There's a reason nobody's playing Engineer, and we'll see that. Holy shit. Look, see, everybody's building fobs. Isn't that weird? That's that's a, that's a some teamwork thinking right there. And it's okay if we lose with all these fobs, but they need to be put up. We need to get a mass of our own men on point. Otherwise, this this is hopeless. All of this is hopeless. <clears throat> and because we're a veteran, we know that the next yeah, we're out of we're out of materials. So when we're out of materials and we need to switch to the sauce, <laughs> we switch to the sauce. Now let's not use our own fob. Let's use the actual spawn point and spawn in with our. This is our good squad, right? We have our FG 42s. We're gonna formation wide. No, they're capping, they are capping. We're gonna go formation close and we're gonna get in that son of a bitch. We're gonna get in that damn thing. Right after we just throw up just a couple of sandbags just to help our team out. Real quick, real quick. It's always a good idea to pull out your energy, pull out your hammer, see what your team needs, and just build it. It doesn't take long. It doesn't take that long. It's really, really super straightforward. Only takes a second. You get experience for this, it means you'll get bigger guns, you'll get better grenades, you'll get everything that you ever hoped for if you just play the damn engineer. Yep. Yep, we're just gonna mark it for our team. Just chuck a little little love over in that direction. Just give that guy a little love tap. That's all. Just give that guy a little love tap. And we're just gonna get our bodies on point. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get our men. Yep, come on. We're gonna get our men. We're gonna cover our teammate there. We could have picked him up, but we have more important things to do. We have to get this defensive point defensible we're gonna build some more sandbags just for the purposes of defending this point see all our men are dead all of our men are dead so we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of ammunition right here and we are going to defend this point with one guy see how long we last Boy, that's glitch. Look, ammo is full. There you go. Isn't that easy? Just gonna lay down here. Listen with our ears. Listen with our ears. Listen with our ears. Mark it for a team. You use that quick chat menu. Ask. Follow me. Quick chat. Defend point. Let our team know. We got to defend this shit, guys. Come on. shots but I did attract his attention so hopefully we can hear him on our right side we can hear him over there yep mark him for your team we're only one guy we have to mark him for our team let them know where they are yeah come on guys come in here play with me play with old doc play with the old doctor Come on, guys. Move to the next... What? How did we lose that point? Oh, that's right, because no one on my team came to support us in capping that. No one did. And that's what cost Germany most of its games, is just a lack of teamwork. And that's what cost even the Allies. I've seen a lack of teamwork because I play all factions. I play all of them, right? Every single one of these factions the issue that they always run into is just a lack of teamwork. 
see, I'm just one guy. If you think that you're nigh invincible and you think that you can just build a few sandbags and hold the point by yourself, you're mistaken. Teamwork is essential. Teamwork is absolutely essential. It is absolutely essential. Because one guy can't do it all, right? One guy cannot do this all by himself. No way. There's no way one man can do this alone. You need a team. You need a squad. There's a reason why this game includes squads. Mark it where we think the team enemy might be. Just take another one out. See, I'm only one guy. I'm only one man. I can't do this alone. I need my team. It is essential that I have my team with me. It is essential that I have my team with me. Oh look, they capped another point. Here I am all alone. Kill them, people. All by myself. Mark it for a team. Yep. Spot while you're in a down state. That is a good thing to do. Let's see if we can't use our engineer, our level one engineer, to influence this match. Let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can do that. So take a look at the point. Take a look at our map. I put my map on tab key for a good reason. You don't need to check your score. Oh, look, barbed wire. <laughs> You don't need to check your score, you need to check your map. Gather your own information. Figure out what will help your team. Because what helps your team helps you. Wins produce experience. So let's put a little fobber bobber in kind of a, a ninja location, right? A ninja location. A place that won't just get immediately bombed as shit. <laughs> and let's see if our team can figure out how to hold one point. Huh? So we're going to use our level 1 engineer, we're going to build a little fobber, just like that, and we're going to leave it alone. No sandbags, no bullshit around it to attract the attention of bombers, artillery, whatever else. So our team can spawn and just go engage the enemy. Now let's go try and build some, uh... Is that close air support? There's those bombs. Let's go build some, uh, defensive fortifications on the point to help encourage our team to play the objective. Let's do that. Let's see what we can do to help our team out. Put that little kitten up. Let's see what we can do to help our team out, huh? Let's see what we can do to help our team out. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see what we can do to help our team out. See, the, sometimes the enemy's just gonna beat you too. That's okay. You know, sometimes the enemy's just going to win, but my point stands true. This is a team game, okay? One person by themselves is not going to make a difference. Even if you're doing what you think is the right thing, and you're building fobs, you're building sandbags, you know, you're, you're doing your best to help your team. Look at that, 40. And they told us we would get more experience for engineering. Did we get a decent amount of experience? We didn't get that many kills. Uh, you could see that we had the capability with our FG-42 and, you know, whatever meager amount of aiming s or skill that I possess personally. I'm not that good a shot, but you can see that. But my point is 40 structures, 40 structures built on point, and I get seventh place. Yeah, seventh place. Isn't that funny? They call me seven, I get seventh place. Is that why they call me that? <laughs> but you can see... A perfect example of why people don't play engineer in this game, right? You build them 40 structures, you do it the way that the patch notes tell you to, to get more experience, and then you end up... I think that was a pretty... 40 structures, that's a pretty decent amount for an engineer to build, right? There were a lot of other engineers. Nobody got best engineer, really? Nobody got best engineer in that game. <laughs> I built 40 structures, guys. And I didn't get the at least the little wrench. Come on. That was that was a whole match of playing the objective as much as an individual can, uh, attempting to communicate with my team that it would, you know, just follow me, help defend the point or we will lose through the quick chat system. They did not do that, so we lost. That's how a team game works. <laughs> but that's just how she goes, right? 
if your team refuses to work together, you will lose. The Amer uh, the United States of America beat us in this match because they were working more efficiently as a team than we were. 100%. Best vehicle squad. I don't know. I don't know if this was a plane or a tank because we don't get enough information at the end of the match for some reason. But I mean, if this was a tanker, uh, they were probably uncontested because our entire team w just wasn't dealing with the threat of, of the tank. And if it was a plane, our entire team was not dealing with the threat of an airplane. And I did not possess the capability of dealing with an air threat because this level one squad, obviously because it's level one, can't build anti-aircraft emplacements. Were I able to build anti-aircraft emplacements and uh, an anti-tank gun, I would have done so. But the anti-tank gun and the anti-aircraft gun that are buildable emplacements that would have helped immensely in that situation, level 23 for level two engineers, are you shitting me? Guys, please. Here you go. Here it is. Even with fully upgraded man lickers. Even with those things. I mean, we didn't kill anybody with them. Well, even with the FG-42, right? It doesn't matter how good your gun is. It doesn't matter how many bullets you have. If your team doesn't work together, you will lose. If you do not communicate with your team, you will lose. If you do not spot, not just for your bombers... But for just spot, just let your the, the other infantry players on your team know where the enemy is, and they will go and look in that direction. They will shoot them too. It's teamwork. Teamwork. No one person is skilled enough at this game. Well, maybe there is. Prove me wrong. Somebody prove me wrong. I would like to see that video. <laughs> Carrying an entire match on your back as a level one engineer squad. That would be, that would be meme worthy. Let's be fair. But, yeah. That's it for today's Red vs. Blue. And I'm going to keep making these videos. I'm going to keep making these videos until I see positive change in this game. And that's just the way it is. Peace out, everyone.